Hi, Afnan here. I've completed making this flow gauge. Initially, I was about to use the penguin resin pump, but since there's some problem with that pump, I decided to use this Beta BT 6000 pump. This pump is not that really that healthy, but it's okay, it can be used. So that's the pump that I'm going to use as a water source with some stopcock as diverter and regulator. This uh, to divert excess water from the pump so that it does not go up into the grow bed through via the uh, flow gauge. This just to provide some means of control just in case the diverter is not sufficient. I haven't tested it out. This may not be required but since it's there, why not having it just in case I need to use it. This is a flow gauge that's rated from 200 liter per hour right up to 2500 liter per hour and I may need a smaller gauge depending on the, my, the siphon that I need to test but roughly this is about the range that I need for most of my siphon uh, testing and water will goes up and into the grow bed or whichever area that I need the water to flow to it's a very simple uh, mechanical using fluid kind of flow um, gauge there's no electronic involved so it's a very simple item to fabricate it's good enough to do some testing of siphon at least it gives means for me to um, uh, document the flow of each of the siphon which uh, so far I'm just using palm rating and extrapolate it to the height of water required to be delivered right then let's uh, have a quick test of this device and it's going to be a first run so I hope it works okay the system is already inside the fish tank let's switch it on I'm holding this video cam or basically actually my camera phone it's a bit shaky let's uh, switch it on and find out there will be water flowing out from the bypass and so far there is nothing flowing up let's just reduce you trying to do it with one hand trying to reduce it sorry about this trying to reduce the water flow and let's provide some bypass okay just one example, I just uh, turn close this bypass. I maintain the picture, the water flowing. And indication is here. You have to read the, at this point, the white part of the float. And it's showing roughly around close to 800 liter per hour 800 liter per hour and to increase the flow I just close sorry about this close this more just close it totally close it totally and this is going to be the flow rate from this beta pump that's the flow rate it's going roughly 1,100, 200, 1,250 liter per hour. That's uh, roughly the flow at this point. So this beta farm is rated at 6,000 liter per hour, but due to its age and probably some something not really gone 
where with the pump it has reduced significantly to 2000 uh, sorry 1250 liter per hour and it's good enough because i only need a very small flow and for my testing there are bubbles you can see coming up it's because i did not seal this part properly and there are a few leaks here and there but this is just a trial once uh, i find it's good i will just seal let's uh, reduce again the flow by opening up the bypass flow has been reduced to 500 roughly 500 liter per hour reduce it further and reducing it to the minimum which is roughly 200 liter per hour and that's the flow and that's the bypass okay at least I have a means to check the flow rate so that I can test the siphon properly and I can improve the design and give a very accurate uh, recommendation with regards to what kind of pump that you require to operate uh, the siphon that I need. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.